It's a great day for keto. My name is Liftar, and I'm bringing you today's keto tip. Welcome. Today's keto bite, can I cheat on keto? Let's say you're going to a job interview. When you meet the person who's interviewing you, the first thing you ask is, how many vacation days do I get? Well, the interviewer is trained right there to mark you off the list because you aren't showing that you're there to work. You're showing that you're just waiting to leave. Keto is kind of like that. If you don't go in ready for the work with a mindset to make it or bust, you probably won't make it. And exactly who are you asking if you can cheat? You're asking yourself. You're not a little baby. There's no one who's going to make you eat something you don't want to eat. So it's just you and yourself. Cheating doesn't work. We don't recommend cheating at all on keto. It just doesn't work for 99% of people. So then you say, hey, there's a 1% chance it could work. Yeah, and you could win the lottery too. And somebody does, but it's not you. You're not the one. So just plan on being part of the 99%, and that's a really good plan. Getting your body into ketosis takes effort. Staying in ketosis can be a delicate dance, a delicate balance. So when you ask if you can cheat on keto, you're asking, should I throw away all my effort and work that I had to get here for a momentary fling? Most people who cheat on keto usually have a cheat day, like a Saturday or a Sunday, and they think their body will then spring back into ketosis. Well, it doesn't work that way. Think of it like this. Could you have a cheat minute every day? where for only one minute of each day you can eat anything, or a cheat hour? No, it sounds ridiculous. So why would a cheat day be any different? If you eat foods that knock you out of ketosis, you stop burning fat right then and there, really fast, actually. Besides the plain logic of it, there's a medical reason not to do this. It's called metabolic inflexibility, And as you age, it becomes more and more of a problem. Your metabolism becomes less and less able to just flip back and forth between fat burning and carb burning. If you're switching all the time, your body will just give up trying. You'll be in a mess. And it can actually cause some pretty weird medical problems. Don't want to live on keto for the rest of your life? That's fine. That's not what we're saying. You go on the keto and you lose what you want to lose. Or if you're on for a health problem, then you get rid of the health problem. Then you go off the diet and gradually is the best way. And you don't have to be on keto to eat healthy, by the way. Then over time, if the weight or health problem comes back, then you go back on keto. You go on keto only until you lose the weight again. And this shouldn't be like every other week. I'm talking about months. You go off keto, and then over the next six months or a year, you gain some weight back, then go back on keto. If you try to do it every week or two, you get that metabolic inflexibility problem. So either be on keto or be off keto. And just as a for instance of a health problem you can get, if you try to do half keto, for instance, let's say you're eating carbs and sugar, and then you try to eat a lot of fat, you actually get a fatty liver health problem. It's worse than just eating a normal crappy diet. So you don't mix, you don't cheat. You either do keto or you don't. If you're asking, can I cheat on keto? We strongly, strongly recommend no. It's not healthy and it doesn't work. And that's today's Keto Bite. If you enjoy these bite-sized tips, then come on over to rockthatketo.com and sign up for fabulous recipes, how-to tips, and inspirational stories of people who have lost weight or gotten healthy for the first time in their life. If you're ready to dive in and start losing serious weight, we have a foolproof 30-day plan 
all laid out for you. You can start losing weight today. Come on and check us out at rockthatketo.com, and we'll see you next time.